going feature. But we're also making available for free, included in the price of your ticket, our West Whateley watermelon. Now, they look suspiciously like apples. <laughs> <laughs> So I just want you to know that you will likely not be in your chair for very long. <laughs> but we're really excited to be here at Watermelon Wednesdays for the first time. And um, my name is Mike Flock. This is Bala Thick. And uh, we've got a whole host of friends that we're really excited to introduce to you this evening. And uh, we're just going to start with some music before we talk too much. Can you check?
today, I know sometimes it makes people uncomfortable when you talk about the slavery, but it do happen. So our role in our society just to let our people know what is the right things to do as well. So Ibam and the Mandela language, which means say no. So we know that was the wrong things to do. So with the time, we're going to do something to let our folks know it's time to say no. Sound exciting? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want to hear this, uh, the music and all those stuff going on. It's like, oh wow, it sounds beautiful, but that's uh, the no. history behind it. <laughs> so, you know, how do you say now? Then we get the radio. So, you know, we're in, we're in the 21st century. Sometimes we get, you know, overwhelming. You know, we say yes to everything, even though we know you're not going to be going or no. You know, we really So just be true to yourself. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> well, we're going to kind of introduce ourselves as we go, but we we are here to destroy music from two continents, and um, we're we're kind of trying to redefine what what the sound of American music is, because all of us are American on this stage. Yes. And actually, um, most of us don't play instruments from America, myself included. Uh, and so we're kind of finding, you know, how can we find ourselves in American music, and how can we take American music back to other places? We're going to sing, sing you all now a bluegrass song, and we're going to find uh, some of the roots back in this song. It's a, it's a beautiful song by Ola Bell Lee. It's called I'm endure.
October 2nd, my wife passed away. This was just 10 days ago. It's going to be a tough time, but I just want to be really honor her for the rest of my life. And she had like two beautiful young teenagers. Christine, but she go by Chris, K-R-I-S, Chris Guiate. She was a wonderful woman. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>
next tune actually is, a, is an exciting new tune for us as a band. Uh, I, I had to do a project during this pandemic where I had to arrange a piece that was thrown at me on less than 24 hours notice. And uh, I had to do some research to understand what exactly was thrown at me. And what I discovered was um, that, that there was this treatise from 1688. Uh, it was, a, it was a, a captain's log from a, you know, a sailor who had made his way to Jamaica. And he went to some parties in Jamaica, and he heard some music he really loved. The, the bands were enslaved Africans uh, who had been brought over to Jamaica. And uh, so he actually managed to find one of these musicians who knew how to notate Western notation. And so he asked him to write down a few of the tunes that the band had played the night before. So this document from 1688 is the oldest written record of the music from enslaved Africans in the New World. And so it's very special. There's a couple different types of tunes, actually, that were in this document. And we're going to play one uh, which was labeled as Koromanti in this document. What that really was referring to was the people that played it. Um, the Akan people from Ghana uh, were referred to when they got to Jamaica as the Koromanti because they had come from Koromanti port in Ghana. Uh, and so this, as far as we know, was called Koromanti number one. <laughs> uh, but we've kind of put our own spin on it, and uh, we're going to see how it feels uh, to play the old night.
to explain what we went into vocally. Uh, the first time I played that piece for Bala, he's like, oh, that sounds like a Salif Keita song. And I was like, I haven't heard that song. So he, he, so we basically, we matched it up with this famous Salif Keita song. Tell us a little bit about that song, too. <laughs> it's got a good message, from what I understand. Saying, I mean, Sunny Blues are like one of the like, top singer, I would say, in um, West Africa and the Mandan culture. And um, he's a superstar uh, you know, around the world. But the music was the same thing. Because we believe this has nothing to do with the religion. Because a lot of times when you talk about it without drinking and that stuff, people automatically think, like, oh, is that because the religion matter? But no matter what. Nothing, <laughs> everything is too much, it's not good for anybody. If you eat too much, it's not good for you. If you drink too much, it's not good for you, right? So everything is good in balance. So the message is said the same, send it out. He said, eat, eat don't kill the, uh, the alcohol, the alcohol is going to kill you. So that's not good. Because you know, slow down, don't do too much, no, too much vodka, no too much whiskey. Just a little bit of time. So, <laughs> that's all. Yeah. So that's the message we just Also, only one apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I know a lot of you have to drive. That's a good one. Yeah, I think so we have one more song uh, before we all go out. To Apple? No, to <laughs> <laughs> So what about we do our best shot today, every single day? So they just play, because in Africa, we don't play so far ahead. You know, for you guys, you guys will be like, okay, the next five years, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but that's not in your hand, that's not in your control, right? <laughs> Nobody have, you guys might be the president of the United States. That's not guaranteed for anybody. So for us, we go by day by day, because tomorrow is not guaranteed. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. <laughs>
uh, the Apple vendor. And then uh, we're going to take a short break and then come back with a whole bunch more music. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. What's this, what's this last tune on the first set, Bob? Well, I just want to make sure everyone's going to have one Apple, not more than <laughs> So that's why I had this song, you know, about being dedicated to myself, playing this instrument, not because it's my family instrument, but it's my destiny to play this instrument because I have the same name. You see? So, but that being said, before we have the break, I want to see everybody dancing. Because I'm sure you guys can do it. Okay? Don't. 
Let's dance. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Woo. Let's do it. Thank you. Hold up one again. Again, Mike Block, Luke, Urkel Lamb, from Worcester. I said she's still running from each other later. Andrew Sakone from Mali, West Africa. Sidney Maiga, a master drummer from Mali, West Africa. Cheryl Nakamara from Senegal. Excellent.
a lot of American music was built on instruments, well, that aren't from America. Because America's not that old, as we've established. <laughs> uh, but you know, the banjo, which we often think of as such an American instrument, originated in West Africa. And so a lot of, you know, a lot of fiddle tunes even draw on that texture and on that sensibility that was rooted in West Africa. So we're gonna we're gonna take a tune, we're gonna name it after Bala, just like his instrument. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take the, the classic Billy in the low ground and we're gonna call it Bala on the high ground. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's how you get around. Um, you know, the, in, the, in the musical universe, there are some instruments that are outdoor instruments and some instruments that are indoor instruments. The outdoor instruments always win. <laughs> so it's best just to go with the flow. And when working with you know, musicians from other cultures, I found it's very helpful to just learn at least one, two phrases in their language. And, and the first phrase that Bala taught me in the Maninka language was, Iniche goes to bed. And uh, because I asked him how to say thank you very much uh, for just the joy of playing with them. And uh, I was so, so inspired at the first time, you know, I got to play with the whole band that I wrote a tune inspired just by the feeling and the music that these, that these guys bring. And uh, I wanted to sort of make it a song, uh, but I only know those words. <laughs> so you're gonna hear them over and over again. <laughs> this is a tune slash song of mine called Iniche Kosebe. The lyrics are Iniche Kosebe, Iniche Kosebe, Iniche Kosebe, Iniche now you know how to say thank you very much. And um, yeah, thank you all very much. This is Iniche Kosebe. <laughs> Thank you. 
more for you all. You know what that means. Time to stretch. You might be moving again. But thank you so much for coming out tonight. I want to thank Paul Newland for presenting this amazing <laughs> Just to be fair, I've been here for over 20, 20 years. I'm married here. I have my kid. Born in this country. I do everything what I'm supposed to do. All of a sudden, somebody come out of nowhere and say, hey, you got to go home. I say, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs>
positive things that were happening in the world today is music. I'm here to deliver on that. Okay? I don't need to speak English to play with the mic. Oh, look. Or anybody else. They don't need to speak Mandinka or Barbara or Wallawa from Senegal is to play with us. Okay? So we can make this happen. Why now? That's a new world. We have no excuse. Right? So thank God Trump is gone. <laughs> <laughs> so my next album is coming pretty soon. And this song is the one of the songs. Because what I was waiting for, I, mean, I was going through a lot with my wife being sick, all that, so I didn't have enough time to get all that, you know, figure it all out. But I have it, but I have his footage going home from White House. <laughs> So the message I'm saying here, all this time in the long Trump, he was just telling everybody go home. So between you and me, who went home? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> the time is right now, so Trump is gone. We here. Thank you. Thanks for watching.